I became interested in wasps after first being interested in ants, um, and that after being interested in butterflies. When I began collecting insects as a youth, about 11 years old, I think, is when I had my first insect net. Most of my research concerns the systematics of the wasp family Vespidae. Now, these are most commonly known to people because of social wasps, and everybody's got stories about social wasps. Well, I work on yellow jackets and paper wasps. I travel quite a lot for my research. I also do quite a lot of museum work, visiting other collections, particularly in Western Europe, to uh, study the type specimens. Collecting wasps can indeed be problematic because many of these things, the social wasps, are very pugnacious in defense of their nests and have the ability to make that known to you. And uh, I, I have no idea of how many times I've been stung, but it's a lot. And, you know, I deserve it because I'm messing with their nests. I have many favorite research sites and but I guess I could say that my favorite continent to do field work on is Australia. Magnificent fauna. For a biologist, it's beyond compare, really. Recently, the most obvious example of an aha moment for me actually had to do with um, yellow jackets, and it had to do with the question of whether there are whole Arctic species in yellow jackets. The idea here is that there are species of yellow jackets that are the same species in North America and across Europe, Asia and, and so on. At some point at a meeting, I was talking to a colleague from New Zealand where one of these species had been introduced and was doing, you know, wreaking havoc in, in native ecosystems. There are no native yellow jackets in New Zealand. And she told me that someone had done molecular work there and was saying that the North American form was not the same as, Europe, as European and Asian. So it took me years of you know, requesting colleagues to send me samples of males of this thing from you know, Europe, from Asia, from other places in North America. Somewhat over a year ago, I was able to do the dissections. And you know, it took me like an hour or something, and it was, hey, these things are, are that, that's different and that's different. It was right there, uh, the culmination of like eight years of work, plus all the molecular work that the New Zealand colleagues did, and I knocked it off in like a day. That was just amazing.